All right, guys, there are several new or different restaurants here on the Carnival Venezia. So we're going to give you guys a tour of those and kind of go over what the changes are essentially in the menus. So the first one is La Strada, and it is essentially it looks like replacing Guy's Pig and Anchor, but they've blended. It's kind of like a barbecue Italian fusion almost <laughs> so let's take a look at what we got rob and i have got some here and so see the difference is see how what i mean by like italian fusion we've got this milanese <clears throat> milanese uh sandwich but we also have corn and there's baked beans and mac and cheese but then there's also this tomato cucumber salami sandwich and there's a roasted pepper uh, pesto that I've got here and garlic bread, which is crazy. Um, you know, I mean, you would eat that with barbecue, but anyways, that looks really good. And then Rob got, of course, he got some of that garlic bread, an Italian sausage. He got a sandwich and then, um, the mac and cheese and the corn. And he got this garlic, kind of like a garlic aioli type thing. And also got some potatoes, like roasted potatoes as well. So there's quite a lot here. There are a lot of good choices. When you initially look at the menu, it doesn't look like there's a ton on there, but that's because it's basically the sides. The main dishes are not on the, on the menu that's printed on the side of the little building. So let's kind of dig into this and see. First thing I want to test is the mac and cheese. I don't know about you guys, but I love mac and cheese. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's nice and creamy. Not too uh, overly cheesy, if you will. Let's see what this baked beans tastes like. Okay, so it's not like your traditional barbecue baked beans. They are baked beans, but I think they're made with like a tomato sauce um, in here. You kind of see the, the color is a little bit more orangey, and I think there might be some Italian cheese in there as well. Let me take one more bite and see. Yeah, I think that's what it is. And then the corn, I think that's just going to taste like corn is corn, right? Mm -hmm. Corn is corn. Let's have a little, I want to put some of this roasted pepper on here. All right. You guys mind me here a second while I take a big old bite of this sandwich. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's the one. Oh, that is good. Yum, yum. Yeah, this looks really good. I'm not going to talk while I eat. Right into your faces. But um, this is all included, so it's comp it's a complimentary one. It's not a, a paid restaurant. And uh, yeah, we're going to enjoy this, but we'll show you some more, so hang in there. second of the new restaurants here on the Carnival of Venezia is Tamadoro, which is new to the brand and it is basically replace, replacing the blue iguana 
from the carnival ships that you've probably been on and seen. So it's pretty similar to that, but it has a new, a few new things. It is a Italian Mexican fusion restaurant. So let's take a look at what I got here. I got a taco and I just got it plain with pork. You can get pork, chicken, or fish, and then you can put stuff on, toppings on like cheese and salsa at the uh, topping bar. You can also get burritos and they'll make them there right for you, just like you used to be able to do on, on the other carnival ships. The only difference then there is that they do also have some Italian items. Uh, so for instance, I got this Italian meatball hero sandwich. It looks pretty good. Uh, so I'm gonna try this and see if it's the same or different. I can pretty much tell you this taco is the, exactly the same as Blue Iguana. So that, that's no different there. So let me try this meatball sandwich and see if it's any good. Mm. That is very good. The bread is very soft. Meatball, very tasty and very soft too. So that's kind of nice. It's basically just the Blue Iguana, but they've added some Italian choices. So not bad, you're eating more and you get the old stuff you used to like new choices so yeah I'm gonna give this one two thumbs up because that used to be one of our favorite restaurants Okay, another new restaurant and the final one that we're going to show you. It is a specialty restaurant and it is an Italian themed restaurant. Now, um, I'm not usually a fan of paying extra for an Italian restaurant on a cruise ship, but we tried it out. And if you haven't seen our full review video of Il Viaggio, go check that one out here on the channel. We've got full review of everything, but here's kind of a quickie overview of that. And that is that it's $42 per person and $10 uh, extra for children. And you get one um, starter, one soup or salad, and one entree and one dessert. And then, there's actually some bonus things they give you at the end. They give you an extra like little um, dessert thing at the end and you also get a limoncello shot at the end as well to kind of wrap up the whole meal. It's very traditional that they do that in Italy. So it's kind of cool that they did that at the restaurant here. So that was a, a neat little touch that they put on that. And so um, I'm going to give you a quick tour, show you a quick tour here of the restaurant. Um, once I'm finished uh, talking, I'll show you what that looks like. And then I will also show you what the meals are that we got at the restaurant as well. Um, it was really good and I do think that it is worth it actually for the upcharge to pay for the this restaurant because they did have some really great dishes. It wasn't just all pasta. They had some really interesting, specialty um, Italian things. They tried to bring in things from all the different regions of Italy. So it's really nice also that they have that on the menu as well, telling you which region um, each dish was from. So that was an interesting experience as well because most people just um, think pasta when they think Italian restaurants. And there's so much more to it. If you've been to Italy, we've been, we've traveled to Italy, you know, from top to bottom and also in to Sicily and have tried lots of the different dishes and we saw a lot of those on this menu. So I'm going to show you right now what uh, the restaurant looks like and then I'll show you what our meals are and I'll tell you what we've got.
Okay, so as you can see, there are a few restaurants that are missing that are normally on the Carnival cruise ships, like Shack's Big Chicken and Blue Iguana, um, but they've replaced those essentially, or basically crossed over the menu with some Italian themes. And I think that what they've brought in um, has really made, I think it's a good difference and it's a good variety since they're doing these, you know, Italian themed ships. So I do like what they've done. Hopefully you guys will enjoy that too. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, uh, leave those down in the comments so we can answer those for you. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give me a like on this video and we'll see you on the next one.